We're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the Cloud Ark? It's our city's network. Our infrastructure. Our people. Our defenses. Everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Ark's reactor. If you do that, the Vale's safe, then the Amuni are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Dargaritas on Rohan. Make your way to the Cloud Ark reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you cycle the system, We'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on. Just so we're clear, if the Cloud Ark is lost, what does that mean for the Neomuni? All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Ark. No Cloud Ark means lights out for everyone in Neomuna. Ah, so it's bad. Got it. another one of those pockets of darkness energy. Can we get a closer look?
Hey, it worked that time. Why did it work that time? Huh. It's like you're pulling on some kind of invisible ropes. I'm detecting those sources as a concentration of energy coming from a common source. It's got to be the veil. Like some sort of magnetic veil all around Neomuna. Let's keep an eye out for more of those. Don, these Vex are short-circuiting voluntarily. Ah, okay. You'll have to clean up those Vex confluxes before heading to the reactor. We haven't observed this kind of behavior before. Hope you're taking notes, Nimbus. What the hell was Robot Dance? Yeah, I've seen it before. It's gotta be a way for them to create a gateway to the Cloud Arc. Or express themselves emotionally. I don't know who can say, honestly. This station's power output is unbelievable. Earth was decades away from technology like this, even during the Golden Age. The Cloud Arc needs a lot of juice. Like we said earlier, it supports all the Neo Mooney, the city's defenses, and also the Veil's defenses. Once we get that power, we'll have all the backup we need to take back the Veil from Kallus. That's good. We're going to need all the help we can get.
it's escaping. Wait, why did it leave? Weird. Something's off. Keep going, but keep an eye on. How's it looking, Rohan? I'm still siphoning power. Look around for any remaining Vex sensors. It's a little too easy. Uh, what do you say we 
expedite that exit, folks. I got Shadow Legion on my tail. What? What are they doing here? Well, considering I'm getting shot at, I say it's for us. Get out of there, Guardian. It's a trap. Let us get yourself out of there. Okay, and that's a bomb. Mapping an escape route. Strands. They're probably the best chance we've got to get out of here. I'm detecting bombs. A lot of bombs. The Shadow Legion are trying to lock us in. Remapping the escape route.
I found a way out. We're going up. Paracausal superposition? Like magnetic poles. You've been busy. Well? For so long, we saw dark and light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? 
At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union, conjoining intangible conscious realities, discursively linking to- You're talking about the River of Souls. River? Yeah, it's a story we tell kids on Neptune. A nursery rhyme. Sort of. Since before history, there's been this raging river. In the story, some try to divert the river. Others try to build a dam. But nothing stops it. Lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim. Don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it, it would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power.